Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book haul video. And this is going to be a quick comic book haul. We only got two comic books in this, okay? Uh, but they're beautiful. Well, all comic books are beautiful, really. Almost all comic books are beautiful, but these two are fantastic. And uh, let me tell you what they are. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is uh, a comic book haul that I did before the second one. We bought the second one. And since we started talking about comic books, started getting back into live streaming uh, comic book videos and specifically live streaming the comic book reading videos um, during the discussions, during the live chat on Twitch and also on uh, YouTube. Um, the topic came up where people were missing the comic book halls, right? So what I started doing was uh, sort of started building up my funds a little bit to start, you know, nibbling uh, at comic book halls uh, through eBay mainly, actually all of it through eBay. I bought some comic books at conventions and stuff, but uh, that stuff sort of is uh, um, on the down low right now. It's not really happening, right? So. All of these, and they have been for the last few years, all of them have been through eBay, really, right? So I started nibbling a little bit, and I got my hands on a couple of books, and uh, one of the books was this, okay? And uh, this is a beautiful book. Um, we ended up picking this baby up. Let me tell you what this is. This is Kid Cult, uh, Cult Outlaw number 107, okay? Check this out. And uh, this was published in 1962. Let me tell you who's on this. The cover is by Jack Kirby. The pencils by Jack Kirby and the inks is by Dick Ayers, right? And from what I understand, I don't know if this is rare or not. A lot of places say it's a rare book or whatnot. I don't know how rare this is, right? Because you can not find it, but it is sought after, right? And I think it's the only monster Kit Colt uh, comic book out there, right? And uh, I really wanted to get my hands on this because it's it's a monster comic book, Western mon monster comic book, cover by Jack uh, Kirby, pencils by Dick Harris. The stories in this are written by Stan Lee. There is... Um, there is uh, uh, there's uh, art it, there's a handful of people working on the art on the inside covers of this there's um, Jack Keller uh, did three of the stories two or three of the stories uh, three of the stories I believe Joe Manley did one of the stories and Dick Ayers did the artwork the pencils and the inks for one of the stories so there's five different stories in this and the cover for this says the monster is lifting me into, uh, so Kit Colt says, the monster is lifting me into the air by some strange power. I'm completely helpless, right? <laughs> Little, <laughs> right? Beautiful, beautiful, right? And monster, monster comic books, uh, they are sought after. There are a genre that, um, there are definitely avid collectors that seek out monster comic books. I personally love monster comic books, monster issues, monster magazines. I have some of them, uh, Creep and uh, some of the other ones as well, right? Um, but uh, I'm not solely a monster comic book collector, but this was a beautiful, beautiful cover. And it's signed by Jack Kirby and Dick Harris at the bottom here. Take a look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's really, really small, really small. And the glow of the plastic. Where is it? It's right there on the boulder, right? Boop. So it says Kirby and Ayers. Um, and this thing, let me tell you what the grade on this thing. The grade on this thing is uh, the person that was selling it graded it good, okay? And I ended up paying 18, uh, 1850 uh, Canadian for it. So that would come out to around 1450 or so. US or fourteen dollars US, right? So eighteen fifty Canadian, uh, fourteen dollars US, and Kid Colt number one hundred seven, right? So I was sort of 
building up my funds a little bit and uh, you know i'm i'm lowballing comics still right i'm trying to get a good deal because my fun, funds are limited so i'm trying to get as much bang for my buck as possible right and this is a pretty good bang for your buck okay so that's one of the books we ended up buying now what happened after i bought this book and i was tracking some other comics and stuff like this when i ended up buying this book uh, i got one donation coming in through paypal right and the only thing that said on the donation was comics only right so the donation was uh to be used that the funds were to be used to only buy comic books right and i'm like okie dokie uh will do right and that's uh uh, Connor thank you very much for sending in the funds right so I started tracking uh, the books I was tracking plus a little bit more and I was uh, sort of uh, trying to decide which ones I was really gonna push for right and then while I was tracking some of these books within the week because usually they end i think these this next book it was a nine day period that once i started tracking it the funds came in it was the timing was crazy right because um this series i'm about to show you is uh, sort of golden grail for me right uh, it's it's uh, the number one of this series is one of my golden i think they call it golden grail or uh, one of my most sought after books that i'm trying to get into my collection right and I've been trying to get my hands on this comic book for a very long time it would have been better to buy it 30 years ago than it is now because the price is higher but you can only uh, buy what you can afford at the time that you can afford it right so while I was tracking issue number one two and three of this series I'm about to show you from the same seller local seller right these funds came in thank you connor comics only right so i was like oh excited 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 right so i placed my bids on one two and three right and the number one of the series um, it was going to be a lot more than what the funds came in right and then a couple of days later we had a little bit more funds come in philip thank you very much for sending in the funds and philip sent in the funds didn't say comics only just send in the funds but i'm tracking comic books it's going to go towards comic books if i can get it for a certain price right so i bid on all three of them and the price was kicking up and number one i was i reached a point where i was like okay i i need to go extremely frugal i'm gonna you know reduce my expenses on a few different things but the the comic number one went above what i could afford to pay for it right and you can only buy what you can afford right there's one advice i can give people is uh, when you're collecting comic books or you're collecting anything if you're into the collectible uh hobby business or whatever it is you have to realize that you can't buy everything it's impossible uh it'd be great if you could buy everything <laughs> and have the space to keep everything and catalog everything and read everything and just enjoy everything right but you can't and one of the pleasures of collecting comic books is the chase right is managing your funds and looking for the bid and trying to get a good deal and the excitement involved in collecting comic books right so the number one of this issue uh went above what i could afford putting funds away for a few months right um and then there was number two and number three number three was a lower grade and it went above what i was willing to pay for a low grade very low grade for that right so it was a little bit on the expensive side for me right but number two was i ended up being a fantastic buy and combined with the funds that came in from connor that said comics only and philip that sent in the funds afterwards we actually have a little bit more funds left to do a couple of more uh, or do more comic book hauls right and by that time i'm gonna try to increase the increase the budget and try to nibble at some other auctions that i'm tracking right but it is a beautiful book this thing right i'm very happy to have it 
in my collection um, what we paid for it is probably uh, well it is one of the more expensive comics that I have bought as auction on eBay okay um, like much much more expensive than 99 percent of the comics we've been buying on ebay right um and let me tell you what this is i know i'm dragging it a lot i'm dragging it but um knowing uh if you're a comic book collector uh you'll have a phenomenal appreciation for this okay this comic book is from 1952 the golden age of comics it is one of the most important comic book series in the history of comic books from one of the most important companies in the history of comic books it is issue number two of mad <laughs> mad magazine or mad comics right from issue number one to number um i believe 21 or something it was called it was comic book size and then it went to magazine size i believe right so this is issue number two of mad we'll call it mad magazine but it's mad comic books and it came out in 1952 and uh, harvey kurtzman let me tell you who's who's on this thing right harvey kurtzman is the editor and he did uh, a writing on this too as well i believe al feldstein jack davis john and mary severn wally wood <laughs> okay harvey kurtzman and bill elder okay and the cover of this is obviously this is issue number two well not obviously I, I guess it could have worked on issue number one but it's the first cover by um, jack davis for mad magazine and jack davis is huge he did a lot of i'm going to take it out of this mylar i put it in mylar right away right um jack davis is is quite huge and he's done a lot of work in uh, the film industry posters uh advertisement and he did a tremendous amount of work for mad magazine obviously right but let me take this out and we ended up let me tell you how much we ended up paying for this and i wrote down the information at the back here right uh, it came out in december 1992 issue number one came out it was a bi-monthly series uh, mad magazine or mad comics right so it would have been uh, um, august september october november uh, so october would have been issue number one and issue number one uh it was a low grade issue it went for um and it was a fantastic deal by the way what issue number one went for it went for 850 60 dollars or so right and that was above what my budget allowed to buy 860 dollars canadian and it was graded at good right which is still a very good price okay this comic book we ended up paying uh it's graded at um uh, very good okay uh, so 4.0 we ended up paying 152 dollars and 50 cents canadian which comes out to 112 dollars and 40 cents us or so okay it's got tape on the spine and it's got three extra staples so it the the person grading this graded are very good the presentation of this is fantastic let me make sure let me put the tapes here so they don't snag the comic and show you the comic without the glare of the mylar the bag in there okay and it's a beautiful cover and by the way what we're going to do is we're going to read this comic i haven't set the time yet as to when we're going to do the next reading and we're going to do do the reading of this live right thank you very much connor and philip for sending in the funds i hope you enjoy the reading when we end up doing the reading which is most likely going to be within the next two weeks okay so right now we're on june 22nd i believe uh 2020 within the next two weeks we're going to try to read this and let me show you that I want to be careful with this right and this is the obviously the uh the lowest mad magazine thing that i have <laughs> that's a great cover and i flip through this right usually i don't try to i don't flip through uh readings that we're going to do if we did comic book hauls uh, but i flipped through this it's beautiful it is beautiful okay it is absolutely beautiful the artwork inside is phenomenal okay 
uh, what a treasure to have, right? And what does he say here? I, I, feel, I feel it in my bones. Someone is giving me the evil, the evil eye. <laughs> right there like this. Too funny, too funny. Right? Awesome, awesome. It, it's beautiful. Okay. I'm very happy to have it. It does have the tape this brown tape on the spine but we'll take a closer look at it when we do the comic book reading okay uh, so good uh, you know 4.0 uh, graded for what was it how much did we end up paying for this uh, 112 dollars let's say 113 dollars US 153 dollars Canadian um, that's a great price that's a great price and uh, a comic book like this I am very glad that it's not slabbed because a comic book like this requires reading and we will definitely be reading this together gang um, possibly this week possibly in the either in this set that I'm gonna announce or the next set uh, that we're gonna announce we're gonna read and we'll have uh, we're gonna do this one first for sure and I'll try to go through my boxes and have maybe three or four five other choices of comic books that we're going to read and uh, there's been requests for us to do a uh, superhero comic book readings because we've been doing a lot of romance comics and science fiction comics and war comics and um and whatnot and uh, we haven't done too many uh, superhero comic book readings lately so we're going to do superhero comic book readings and i haven't decided if we're going to read this one yet either but we might <laughs> So this is what we ended up getting, okay? Kid Cold number 107 from 1962 and Mad Comics number two from 1952, okay? Uh, I thought you would get a kick out of this. Connor, Philip, thank you very much for the funds. We wouldn't have been able to uh, grab these without it, right? Um, like 1850 for kid cold was on the high end that i was willing to willing to willing to bid right because i'm slowly building up the funds um and like anything you should have a little bit of funds to do this a little bit of funds to do this a little bit of funds to do this but stay within your budget uh enjoy life don't make sure you don't get pressures of needing finances to take care of life's necessities um, if you're playing with certain things that includes investing as well because if you're investing you're really playing um, you're really to a certain degree um, gambling in a sense but when it comes to comic books it's not just an investment it's it's a way of life it's a way of being it's entertainment this enjoyment as well as it possibly being a form of investment so if you can get things on a great deal you get things on a great deal right and we got mad magazine number two from 1952 <laughs> right at some point we'll get mad number one we will 100 percent. and once we get it we're going to read it we're going to read every little word in in this book <laughs> okay so we're going to read everything in this from beginning to end and uh, when we get our hands on mad number one we will definitely do the same for mad number one as well okay gang uh, i thought you would enjoy uh this little little just just a te <laughs> teeny weeny little two comic book haul but uh, holy grails really well holy grail for mad the kid cult one is beautiful book uh jack kirby cover uh dick Ayers. Jack Kirby pencils, Dick Ayers, inks, uh, monster comic book from 1962, Western monster comic books. How many Western monster comic books are there? I don't know. I'm not a specialist in the Western monster comic books, right? But I'm pretty sure there aren't too many out there. And uh, Mad Magazine, Mad Comics. This is one of the books. Mad Magazine was one of the comic book or magazines that are comic book related uh, that I avidly read when I was in elementary school and more in high school mad magazine as well as heavy metal those are the two magazines that I uh, try to if when I could afford it buy them and read them and uh, you know 
get the Alfred E. Newman for President <laughs> stickers, play around with them and whatnot. And that was more in elementary school, right? But fantastic. Very happy to have this in the collection. And again, Connor, Philip, thank you very much for uh, the support and the funds to get us a comic book haul. Okay. Aside from that, gang, I'll see you guys in the next video, next live stream, next podcast. Okay. Bye for now.